Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am back today with another easy DIY bookmarks video. You guys really seem to like the old ones so I thought I'd make another one with different ideas. If you haven't watched the previous one, these are the ones I made in that video so make sure to check that out as well. Moving on to this video, I will be making 4 different kinds of bookmarks that are really really easy to make. I will be using my Arto 300 GSM watercolor paper for the ones I will be using paint on but any paper above 180 GSM will work fine for this. After that, I'm just cutting it up to different sizes for bookmarks. The thinner ones are 2.5cm wide while the thicker ones are 4cm wide. So let's get started with the first design. I'm using the thinner one for this design and I'm bringing back my favorite coffee hack where I mix some coffee with water and paint the whole thing to give it a vintage parchment paper kind of look. The best way to get this effect is painting it in layers, so I'm using a blow dryer to dry each layer before adding another one. You don't have to be neat with this, the patchier you paint it, the better the results, so this is what it should look like once it's completely dry. For the first design, I'm starting with the most simple one. I'm cutting off the bottom part so it looks like this and I'm also punching a hole for the ribbon part. Next, I'm gonna use my alphabet stamps but you can always use a pen or a brush pen to write whatever you want on your bookmark but I was going for a vintage aesthetic so I thought the alphabet stamps would give it a really nice touch. For this bookmark, I went with the quote, a new chapter so that it can go on any book. In my experience, I always stop at the end of a chapter when I read books so I thought this was perfect for a bookmark quote. Next, it's time to put on a ribbon and I have this whole collection of ribbons that I save from packages that I get. So I obviously went with the black one and I find this to be the easiest way to put on a ribbon on a bookmark. So you make a loop like this and put the ends through the hole like that and then pull the ends back through the loop like this. And that's basically it. After that, you just cut the ribbon to your liking and we're done with the first bookmark. This is the most simple one but I just love how it turned out and you can use this on any book you want. For the next one, I had to include a Harry Potter themed one and this one is inspired by the Goblet of Fire where the Triwizard Cup selects the participants for the Triwizard Tournament. If you remember, the names come out of the cup in these burnt pieces of paper. So for this one, please make sure that you're careful or ask for help for someone for this because I'm burning off the edges with a candle to make it look like that burnt piece of paper. When you're doing this, sometimes the paper keeps burning so please uh, make sure to take a damp cloth to stop the burn from spreading. In my case, I'm just tapping it with another piece of paper but a damp cloth will definitely work better for this and this is how it should look like when it's done and I kind of like the uneven shape because it looks more realistic this way. Now you can go with any quote for this but I went with ALWAYS in all caps because it's one of my favorite ones from the Harry Potter books and the movies and I just love how this one turned out. For the next ones, I'm using the thicker bookmarks and I will be using two different styles for this. If you do not have watercolor, you can use any type of markers for this. I'm using the ones I have and you'll also need some kind of clear plastic for this. First, I'm just coloring an ombre design on the plastic using the shape of the bookmark as a reference. And then I'm spraying it with water and transferring it to my bookmark. It should look something like this and I'm also trying the same technique with a solid color. 
for those who have watercolor you can create a very similar background using watercolor as well so that's what i'm doing i'm using some water first and picking two colors to make an ombre background after everything is dry i'm punching holes on each one for the ribbons and it's time to add a pattern or a doodle on the top for the yellow one, I'm making this super simple design that I saw on Pinterest. You can find so many designs like these online and I think you can't really go wrong with these type of bookmarks. For the pink ombre bookmark, I went with a flower design that I also got from Pinterest and I really love how this one turned out as well. I'm also adding black ribbons to each of these bookmarks in the same way that I did for the previous one. And I also made two extra bookmarks with the same style but different designs and I love how all of these turned out. Next we have the corner bookmarks that are probably my favorite out of everything in this video and the easiest to make. You do not need watercolor paper for this. I am using colored paper. So you start with the size that you want. I went with a 4 cm square that extends to two triangular flaps that look like this. And once you have all the outlines lined up, just cut it up and it should look something like this. Then you just fold the two triangles on top of the square like this and the second one should overlap the first triangle so it should look like this. After that you just stick the second flap to the first one so that there's space in the middle. I'm also making a second one and now it's time to decorate these. In my case, I'm using washi tape but you can decorate these however you like. I'm using washi tapes from the washi tape shop and I'm just covering the whole thing with the washi tape and cutting off the extra edges. Similarly, I'm using a different washi tape for the other one and I just love how these turned out and how easy they were to decorate and make. I also love how corner bookmarks look on books and how easy they are to use and I love both of these and I'm definitely making more of these. The last and final bookmark idea involves some origami but it's still super easy to make. I've been seeing these butterfly bookmarks all over my Instagram and Pinterest so I thought I'd give it a try myself. For this, instead of using colored paper, I decided to paint it myself, so I'm using watercolor to make pastel colored paper for my butterflies. If you want the exact measurements that I use, here's a piece that I used to practice on. First thing you need to do is fold a piece of paper in half like this, and again like this. Then make two triangles and fold them out like shown in the video. Do this on both sides and make sure that they're folded in such a way that there is gap in the middle at the bottom here. Turn it around and fold out the wings of the butterfly on both sides and you're done! You can decorate these butterflies however you like but for the one that I made with colored paper, I'm just using a pigment liner to make patterns on the wings. As for the ones that I painted, I'm folding it into the butterfly and I'm just leaving it as it is. Once you get the hang of it, I promise this is really easy to make and I just love how these look on my books. These work very similar to the previous corner bookmarks that we made but they just look more complicated and take a little more time but I definitely think that it is worth it. I also love how it looks when the book is closed as well. I also made a few more of these butterfly bookmarks and this is what they look like close up. I really hope that you like some of these bookmark ideas. If you did, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite and please make sure to leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But that is it for this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!